Yo, I do want to do my intro, but I know it's been a whole minute and you guys probably don't even care that I've been inconsistent But I know that for me, I'm not gonna be coming out here and saying, oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry that I wasn't inconsistent. I missed out on three days of uploading. That means Friday, Saturday, Sunday Monday I did upload. So I just want to explain why um, I haven't really been enjoying my weekends or events that happen in my life because I'm usually seeing the same cycle. It's always like the same thing, the same people, the same um, atmosphere. And it's just always felt that this was never going to change. This was never going to become something where I would genuinely enjoy, especially in this, you know, this, how can I say, this stage in my life where I'm still trying to grind, still trying to figure out what I want, still trying to focus. And I thought when I, you know, moved, I was going to be able to work on myself much more. And then I realized that, I was wrong. I, I was definitely wrong. And then I went for, you know, an event with my family for the first time in not in the regular place. And it was the best. Like, it's probably one of the best weekends I've had in a while. Like, I haven't been on a holiday with family in a minute. And it's just like, I forgot how that feeling was. I forgot the, the feeling of connection, being around people you actually genuinely enjoy being around. The love, the joy, the happy, the, the happiness, the smiles, bro. The brotherhood, the unity. It's just so wild to realize that I was so out of touch with all these things. And it just made me realize, like, at one point, this is what I was fighting for. This is what I'm literally grinding towards. Like, I'm literally grinding towards being able to connect, being able to be with people I love much more. My family, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, my cousins, my uncles, my grandma. Bro, I'm literally fighting to be close to people again. Because I, at this point, I've disassociated myself. And it's like, I know why. It's for a bigger reason. And, like, when I went for these three days, I literally disconnected from the internet. Like, my phone was... Far, not because net, that was because network was bad and there was load shedding. You, you guys know this, but it was also because I didn't even think about like, hey, yo, what's going on? WhatsApp, what's going on on Twitter? Like, I didn't think about the internet. I was like so disconnected that my day was, you know, constantly occupied with something to do, someone to talk to, things to experience. There was always an activity. There was always people to just keep me updated or keep me, you know. How can I say, away from whatever else was going on and it was so good because it felt like I was, I wasn't like sucked away from it. It was like I was completely detached and I was happy. I was much more vibey, like the vibes were so different. Like it's so weird sometimes when you don't have an expectation. Like I didn't have an expectation of going there and enjoying myself. I went there to see family because I thought the, the atmosphere was still kind of, you know, dry. They had been going on, you know, some personal family issues. And it's just felt that it wasn't the right time to be going there and expecting everything to be optimistic. But bro, my mindset and my whole experience was changed. Like everything has changed. That's one. There's a whole lot of new people that I didn't know. And it's just, it was so easy to just pick off where I left off with everybody I knew. Like obviously there were some expectations that's, you know, still kind of like dilapidated, dilapidated. But it didn't matter. It, like there was a way to make up for that. And it just felt so like it's it made you kind of ignore all the negative it made you kind of ignore all the disadvantages because of how overwhelmingly positive it was and i just i enjoyed that i genuinely enjoyed that like i am literally still thinking about i still have memories and i'm still trying to recover like that's why i haven't been able to actually make a proper proper video it's just that that feeling is still in me and that energy that i've got for and that that it's just it shows me the strive i'm i'm working towards like what my vision is supposed to be materialized or what it's supposed to look like i've seen it and i see why i'm working every single day like alone and disassociated from all these people because i know if i actually want this i'm gonna have to do a lot of things that might actually not you know work with other people right now it might be disconnecting myself with the family and not talking to anybody and it's just so sad but it's like there's a higher purpose there's a bigger vision there's a bigger plan the, the plot is much bigger the picture is enlarging bro like i see family and i'm just like bro i am fighting every single day so that i can be around these type of people i can be connected with these people i don't want to feel like i'm a distant you know individual a distant relative i don't want to be one of those distant relatives where it's like oh we we, we have a cousin here we, we don't know his name but he's just there i don't want to be that type of person i want to be able to you know connect with family connect with cousins because that's been happening as like natch bro like there's just something about cousins where you can just connect naturally you know what i'm trying to say it's just like hey yo we're related and, and that's as far as it goes we don't need to be having background let's just pick up where we left off and it's just 
it was amazing it it's it meant so much to me where i actually lost touch i actually lost focus and that's kind of dangerous because when i'm trying to build myself and then these people make me detach from what i'm trying to grind for it becomes one of my obstacles i hate to say it but these good times will be an obstacle especially if i'm trying to pursue something where i'm supposed to be living much more comfortably and being able to benefit the people i love so i realize this is what i'm fighting for i realize this is important and i'm and i'm pursuing now like from now bro i'm building up so much momentum like guys you're gonna get annoyed of me i know i've been saying this over and over but y'all are gonna get annoyed of me bro like so much bro it's gonna freaking ruin your mentality you're gonna be pissed about seeing my face and i'm just I'm ready. I'm ready for that. I'm so happy. I've gained enough energy. I rejuve. I literally went there and I rejuvenated because I was kind of feeling down. There was not much. I didn't think about topics. I didn't think about content. I didn't think about making videos, plans, vlogs. Like everything I planned got scrambled and it's just like restarting all over again. It's like a whole, you know, reset button that I've pressed and I'm back to square one. And it just feels like this is amazing. I don't know why. It, it just feels like I can start over. I can make this you know, right. I've obviously had a foundation and I can build up that with this new energy, these new ideas and this new positivity that I've, you know, brought upon myself. It's just like this optimistic for me, it's kind of toxic, but it's toxic in a good way. Like it helps me push through. It helps me achieve things, even though I don't feel like it. So I guess in a way it's kind of like discipline, but I like to say optim opt optimism because I love to do it. Even when I'm like, no, not motivated or even when I'm extremely sad, it's just like, bro, you know what you can gain from this. You absolutely understand and comprehend the complexity of this plan and how much it's going to require for you to invest and all the obstacles and all the challenges that you're going to go through. And only you, like sometimes I just have this I don't know, main character complex where it's just like, I can only do it, only me. It's only possible if I invest into it. It's if only possible if I make effort towards it. And once I start putting in that effort, that 100, that 300% effort, bro, because I ain't lacking on myself. I'm gonna make sure I put in more than everybody else. 300% effort, bruh, you're gonna get annoyed at me. You're not gonna get seriously annoyed for me. I, I know I'm competition. I know I got so much, you know, ahead of me and I'm just ready to, you know, release it. Just be able to go out there and give it my best every single time just performing like you guys don't know what's going in the background but bro i'm gonna put everything on the table and just hope i make it i'm not even hoping i got a plan bro i'm gonna make it i must make it so yeah um i just want to say i'm truly happy i'm truly happy to be back i'm not sorry that i you know I i've messed up my streak of uploading i know i've been inconsistent and i said oh every single day of the year i was supposed to post even if it was a one second video i didn't do that I effed up. I know that. I take accountability. I got no time to apologize. Now it's back to work. I'm probably going to be uploading twice now a, a day. So I'm, you know, looking at that and I'm looking at all these other plans that I got in my mind that, you know, I'm going to compress. Like, I'm just going to compress so I can foot in my little head. And yeah, just give you the best I can. Um, yeah, other than that, God bless. Have a nice life. And I'll see you when I see you, which is very, very soon.